It's been two years since fires across Colorado burned more than half a million acres. Now, it seems like every time it rains, the burn scars flood. A given rainstorm that before a fire would have infiltrated into the ground, after the fire is much more likely to run off the surface. Sunday, we saw flash flood warnings in the Cameron Peak burn scar as heavy rain poured over the area where flames torched the land not too long ago. Peter Nelson says we'll likely see the threat of flash floods in this area for years to come. He's an associate professor of civil and environmental engineering at CSU. The soil becomes sealed. In some cases, the soil becomes hydrophobic, meaning water actually beads up and is repelled off of the surface. Peter is researching whether dumping mulch over burn scars is an effective way of trying to prevent water from running off and causing floods. Helicopters drop wood chips onto the land to try and increase vegetation growth and stop water runoff. There are limited resources and it's expensive to do that kind of a treatment. And so a lot of planning goes into the development of those mulching operations. The Cameron Peak fire burned more than 208,000 acres back in 2020. About 24,000 of those acres were identified as high priority for mulching, meaning that the soil was more susceptible to flooding or water quality issues but mulching is expensive. The groups involved in mulching that area have spent more than $20 million in the past two years and have only treated about 10,000 acres. A lot of the planning involves identifying what are the highest risk areas, what are the places that were burned at the highest severity that might have a steep slope uh, that could pose a, a higher risk, and those areas get prioritized. It takes years for the land to recover. Long after the fire, the focus will remain on the water. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. That team of researchers from CSU started looking at whether mulching was an effective strategy. They first started doing this after the High Park fire in Larimer County back in 2012. So far, they have found it is useful, though they are now testing a larger area of land in the Cameron Peak and the East Troublesome Burn Scars for more research.